Hi guys, this is Fars and welcome back to Fars Low C. I hope you are doing well and in this video, I'm gonna show you three different techniques to enhance the sharpness of your photos. And at the end of the video, I would love to hear which methods you prefer the most. So let's get started. Before we explore the methods, let's address the fundamental question. Why should you consider adding sharpness to your photos? What makes the sharp images so valuable? Okay, let's see an example here. Take a look at these photos. What is the first thing that catches your eyes? The subject, right? Yes, it is because the subject is so sharp. The eyes looks really, really crispy here and the background is beautifully blurred. This contrast in sharpness draws the attention of the viewers to your photos. And another cause is to increase or add details within your photos that ultimately helps you to gain the attention. Okay, uh, now let's jump into the first method. This is a very easy and basic one. Uh, we'll use the smart sharpen option. Okay, uh, look at this picture. Let's uh, zoom in and look at this. Uh, we want to add more sharpness to this picture by using a smart sharpen option okay to apply smart sharpen you will need a mars layer you cannot use it as a smart object so you have to complete all the editings and color grading and blah 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 then you have to create a mars layer by create a new mars layer and then apply the smart sharpen option so it's a little drawback here okay now create a merged layer at first uh, create a blank layer and then press shift command option and e okay now you can see a new layer as a layer one okay now then uh, convert it to a smart object okay now go to the filter and select the sharpen and select here smart sharpen okay that's fine okay you can see from here too okay i want to increase the amount value to the 500 okay now come to the radius and it is very very important because radius control thickness of the edges okay if the edges are too blurry then you should use a higher radius value okay but there is a problem if you increase the radius value too much you can see this halo effect and that is totally undesirable okay so my suggestion is bring it to zero and let's zoom in more and just increase it gradually okay that's good that's that's too much i think okay i think two is fine so increase the radius value slowly and gradually and stop when you begin to see the halos okay i think two is looking good here the edges look perfect and also there is no halos okay that's fine but look at this if you zoom in the sh uh, the intensity of the sharpness is too high i think and right now i want to decrease the amount okay you can see the before and after look at the eyes you can see the before and after it's a huge huge difference okay that's good i think i'm going with around let's go with 250 see the before and after i think this is fine okay now come to the reduce noise option okay enhancing sharpness sometimes can uh, lead to increase noise also so okay so you can uh, uh, reduce the no uh, reduce the noise by increasing this value but i don't recommend to use this and if you want to use just uh, use very uh, i think around 10 to 20 not more than that uh okay i'm going with around six seven that's good 
and lastly there is an option related to what type of blurriness you want to remove okay most of the time uh, gaussian blur works fine and then the lens blur and the motion blur motion blur works uh, fine when there is any camera shake or motion blur you can fix little camera shake by using this uh, motion blur and select the angles okay so i think this is fine let's see the preview before and after and now press okay okay now look at this this was the before and this is after you can see the difference okay so let's put it into 100 percent view and see this was the before and this is after it's a huge huge difference so i think the first one is done and it looks pretty good okay now hide the layer okay let's rename it to smart sharpen okay now let's jump into the second one and it's about high pass sharpening okay so to apply the high pass sharpening you also need a merged layer okay but it's a little bit different it has more flexibility than the smart sharpen okay so create a new layer and press shift command option e to merge all the layers into a new single layer okay and then uh and then uh, convert it to black and white press command and u uh, to bring the hue saturation layer and decrease the saturation all the way down to minus 100 okay you can leave the photo in color also uh, but i prefer black and white okay uh, now go to the filter other and apply the high pass and look at this the radius yes it is the same radius so just again increase it slowly and gradually and stop it where you begin to see halos so i think i think 2.22 is 2.2 is looking good let's zoom in and see okay there is no halos they just look fine now press okay and change the blending mode to overlay let's see the difference this was the before and this is after it's very quick and easy okay okay i forgot one thing make sure you have converted this layer to a smart object before applying the high pass okay so look at this this was the before and this is after high pass sharpening has some advantages okay you can just increase the sharpness by copying this layer by pressing command and say, look at this look at this it's very very easy you can also uh, change the opacity from here okay so let's say we want to increase the sharpness uh, more in the eyes so copy this layer by pressing command and j and then create a negative mask press and hold option key or alt key and then click on this mask option okay now press b to select the brush foreground color white and just paint over the eyes look at this so now look at this this was the before and this is after it's very very easy so now look at this you can add some sharpness here and there so now look at this this was the before okay let's zoom a little bit and see this was the after look at those eyes it looks really really good this is so so beautiful additionally high pass sharpening offers more flexibility compared to the smart sharpen option as uh, you can change anything beneath this layer okay, let's make a group of this layer by pressing command and z and rename it to high pass sharpen so you can change anything beneath this layer okay ultimately the choice between these two methods depends on your preference and situation i'm just showing you these methods and there is no wrong or right approach okay now uh, i think the second one is done and right now we want to jump into the 
third one and that is about uh, adding sharpness by increasing the blur it's interesting right yes it is okay so it also need a masked layer so create a new layer press shaped command option and e so here is the new layer and make a copy of this layer by pressing command and z and now convert this layer by pressing command and i invert this layer sorry that's horrible okay since the blending mode to vivid light okay you can see this the 50 percent gray layer okay that's good now convert this uh, to a smart object then go to the filter blur and select the Gaussian blur and zoom in and see look at this look at the edges the same thing the same option radius just increase it gradually and slowly let's go with two percent two pixels sorry or 2.2 i think that is, looks great you can see you can see how much details they covered it's really great press ok and now press and hold command key or control key and select this two layer and make a group of these two by pressing command and z okay now let's rename it blur sharpen and then change the blending mode to overlay and look at the difference let's zoom in and see this was the before and this is after look at the eyes i think i think the eyes looks more beautiful in this case okay it's really really great okay you can easily change the gaussian blur as it is a smart object just double click on the gaussian blur option and you can just increase like this and look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good let's zoom out and see this was the before and this is after wow it looks really really great the eyes looks really catchy so i think it's done and those are the three techniques to sharpen your photos and i would love to hear which one is your favorite show some love by leaving a comment and thank you very much for watching this and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more content until next time happy ending